to River State now, where the governor, Yisum Wike, is been warning former President Goodluck Jonathan against defecting to the ruling All Progressives Congress, the APC. In an interview with the BBC, governor, uh, the governor says the APC will destroy the reputation of the former president if he joins the party. Wiki advises Jonathan to remain in the People's Democratic Party if he intends to contest for the presidency again. There have been speculations that the former president might join the ruling party to contest for the 2023 elections, but Jonathan has not made a public declaration if he's going to join the APC or contest for the 2023 presidency. The APC, however, says Jonathan will be allowed to contest for the presidency of the nation again only if he joins the party. And the Rice News Analyst and Lecturer at Bates University, Abiyoti Adeni, joins us now to discuss these issues. So thank you, Adeni, for being here with us. And of course, looking at uh, Governor Wike's statement, he's saying that Jonathan, if he joins the APC, mm. his reputation will be damaged. And one wonders, you know, reputation doesn't really matter to the politicians. Looking at how we've seen cross capiting from one party to the other, you know, since we became a, 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 a report, uh, since we entered the Fourth Republic, especially. But beyond all of that, he's saying that uh, uh, <laughs> Jonathan, <laughs> the APC, we've heard all of that talks that he's planning to move to that party, but the PDP is saying that he should stay, and what well, does he have any guarantee that he'll get uh, the ticket if he even remains in the PDP, really? Well, I think there are so many ways to unpack it, really. Uh, but first, let's acknowledge the fact that Governor Wiki is one of the most forthright um, uh, governors in this dispensation, always very forthcoming with um, his thoughts, you know, and of course he has have been emphatic in asking saying that President Jonathan should not um, join the rank of those who are jumping ship from one party, um, party to the other, not just because um, they are from the same zone, but because um, he, I think, and like the rest of us, we do not just see Jonathan as, as a mere politician or one of the politicians in the pack. We also see him as a statesman, on a, uh, principally on account of what he did in 2015 by considering defeat and helping in the evolution, in ingraining uh, the culture of accepting defeats in the evolution of um, Nigeria's democracy. So in that light, you know, you place President Jonathan on a different pedestal. And between uh, being a statesman and being a politician, if you ask me which should I prefer for President Jonathan, I would say he should be a statesman rather than being a politician. You know, um, joining like, like the rest, some of the, uh, those in the park who move from one party to the other. But having said that, we also have to consider to him that irrespective of how we look at him, he's still an individual, he's still a person, and he has a right of association. Okay. Well, the pre uh, Governor Wiki um, is simply admonishing him, you know, uh, he probably does not, may not have any right to um, stop him if he actually wants to go. But overall, um, the, uh, President Jonathan himself has not said, he has not told us any, anything, he has not said whether he's going to go or not, um, so it's still a matter of... Um, um, guess, um, second guessing, permutations. But the APC, they make promises. And looking at his relationship, even with the president, um, President Muhammad Buhari, promises yeah. have been made, really. Uh, have we, you read this anywhere? Have we, have we had it anywhere? I think these are just. We have read it, and I'm sure you have as well. But of course, the yeah, but, but, all uh, but I think, on, yeah, yeah, that's true. Until we hear from the principal. Mm. Yeah, Let's so quickly look at the uh, uh, statesman, mm. Ayo Adebanjo, yeah. you know, uh, expressing some. Uh, grave concerns about the 2023 elections and the state of insecurity in Nigeria. Yeah. Uh, what kind of lacuna could Nigeria fall into if um, the ominous clouds does not allow for elections in 2023? Well, what are the dangers here? Yeah, there's lots of danger, really, Christian, because you know the, the signs are ominous, no doubt. You know the poll is worrisome. And, but 2023 is still relatively is close, but at the same time, a long time for us to resolve some of the nagging um, threats. You know, but the, the rise of non-state actors is actually worrisome, and because um, they are beginning to confront, you know, the state machinery at the um, at the level of fire, you know, it makes it makes it even more disturbing. Five hundred communities are being held by terrorists in Niger State. Yeah, it's very very disturbing. But we want to also trust that the security agencies are not resting on their oars. And the pres pres President Buhari has also promised us several times that uh, this will be dealt with in no time. But in the, um, that's
dealing with them is taking a long time, really, and that's why we're having this fear is being expressed by uh, an elder statesman like uh, Chief Adebanjo. But at the same time, I think I want to be much more optimistic than the chief is. To believe that whatever problem we have, we'll be able to resolve it. You know, um, before. Um, 2023. 20, Do not forget that even ahead of 2019, there were concerns too, security mm. uh, concerns in places, but elections still held. You know, somehow we have a way of just getting over these things, but um, we shouldn't just rest on that as well and say well, we're not going to do anything, we'll get over it just like that. But in hoping that we'll get over it, we, also, we should also ensure that it is properly done. You know, we should not generate results, you know, not um, say that elections didn't hold in this place, but results will be seen at the same time. Mm -hmm. We want to see things properly done. But, but I think it's okay for us to be hopeful and uh, trusting that elections will hold, because if elections does not hold, we know um, what it can mean, you know, and that's not what uh, we want, no, you know, we, to create further problems, further and further complexify um, the, the evolution of our democracy. And we do not have the institutions, you know, to withstand the, ch the shock that we result there from. Especially looking at how we're looking to solidify our democracy since 1999. Yeah. Well, you know what? If you look at election violence, 1999, 2003, 2007, 2011, mm -hmm. uh, 2015 as well. Of course, the worst being the 2007 and uh, 2011. But we, we cannot remove insecurity when it comes to politics, especially towards a general election. Sure, but so. all of these fears, really, there's facts that we're battling even more than what we saw in 2015. How yeah. troubling is this? as we look forward. It's very troubling, you know, Amaka. It's very troubling. I mean, I'm nobody will say that. If we say it's not troubling, we're just deceiving ourselves. And we do not want to be hypocritical about the situation. But I also want to trust that, you know, um, we are citizens. You know, we are, we are not in power. You know, we want to, um, you know, align with the, the, the stipulation of the Leviathan that those who have entrusted our, our power into, you know, we have given our rights to them to protect us that they will do the best that they can do uh, to make sure uh, processes are not interrupted, you know. And one major process that we don't, do not want interrupted is the election process, you know, because the festival of democracy is the reason why we are a little bit, uh, we are happier as citizens because we're in a democratic dispensation and it has a way of enhancing our well-being, our self-esteem, you know, because it, it gives us a sense of participation and it has a way of creating grounds for um, physical and physical development as well. Of course, uh, we have made more progress in the last 22 years that we probably made, you know, 22 years before, you know, when we were, we were have, we having military um, interregnums yeah. now and again, yeah. you know. So I think we're making progress, even if slowly, you know, and we do not want that progress interrupted. That's the bottom line. And I want to trust that our leaders will do the right thing. You know, it is never wrong to do the right thing anyway. All oh, right. We're mm -hmm. always uh, hopeful about that. Yeah. Thanks so very much, uh, Professor Abiodun Adeni, a RISE uh, analyst there.